So today is January the 9th and that marks four weeks since applying for the new passport, which is the maximum time I was estimated to get it. Now I have some very unsettling news here. <laughs> Uh, I reached out to them to get some kind of update and see where it was in the process. And I was told that there are extreme delays, heavy delays, and that there's no possible way I'd receive the passport this week, today's Tuesday, and that there's a small chance it could arrive next week, but it's unlikely and they're hopeful that it arrives the week after that. Which means I'm here for a few more weeks still, which is, <laughs> which for me was very hard news to take, to be honest, but there's nothing I can uh, do about it, you know? So total processing time since the start is, is like seven weeks going to be crossing the amount of time I'm actually allowed to stay in Indonesia if it goes past that. Could be eight weeks, you know. Um, so tough. Such a tough situation here. Um, just trying to keep my head up, stay positive about it, not get depressed. Uh, the most difficult part is figuring out where to go here and where do I stay. Uh, I had sold my belongings to get enough money to fly and to sign a lease in Thailand and pay for a condo, which now I have to use for paying daily or weekly accommodations here and extending my motorbike here and so I will not have the money for those things. It's very difficult. You know, I don't know. I just don't know what to, to really do. So I'm still in Sonor. I have the accommodation uh, extended till Thursday. And I'm trying to figure out the best move. You know, I'm just going to go where it's cheapest. I guess I'm gonna stay in like a hostel type situation. And I might not even keep the motorbike because it's just, it's pretty pricey. It's like $150 a month. Uh, and if I pay by the week, it's like something like $60, something like that. It's just too much to sustain, unfortunately. Uh, and I, I can't really make good content out here. I can't, uh, both due to the, the headspace that I'm, I'm in because of this, and there's just not content to make here. People, people don't want to see this content so much. <laughs> so, it's tough. Very tough. Oh, we got some copyright music. It should go the other way. Uh, but I want to give an update about it. Uh, maybe there will be some lucky chance that it does arrive uh, next week, you know, would be great. Uh, or hopefully the week after that, at least it, it does arrive. And I'm guessing it's just for the holidays mostly that it got delayed. Um, they said it's still in the beginning of the process, essentially, which I don't. I don't really understand, but <sighs> that's where I'm at. If you have any recommendations, <laughs> I suppose, on maybe place somewhere to go that is not, you know, that is not Ubud, that is not Nusa Penida, that is not one of these like uh, places that could be interesting and, and cheap. You know, I thought about going to Lombok. It's just too expensive to go. It's like round trip, like $100 on ferry. Uh, 
um, similar by flight. Then I consider Jakarta. I feel like either of those places I could make some, some better content and I could, uh, you know, get out of the headspace of being in Bali for so long. I know a lot of you are thinking like, oh, that's such a uh, dream or amazing thing to be able to move around Bali for five weeks now and another few weeks, but not if you don't want to, and not if you don't have the money to do it, then it's, it's just like very draining. And having, yeah, 60 kilos of, of bags and stuff is, I'm just so locked down and uh, just like so low on options and so having a difficult time getting any sense of like pleasure or like positive feelings day to day. I'll even consider not putting this video out because I know it's like so not positive but I, I don't know what content to make for now. And now I'm, I'm worried over the next weeks, what the hell am I gonna shoot for content? I'm definitely not gonna stay in Sonora. You know, it's fine that I was here for one week or so, it's fine, but pushing it past that, you know, is too much. I, I yeah, I can't. <laughs> I'm glad the holidays are over, so I don't have to worry about like all the accommodations being booked and stuff. There are more accommodations available now. Um, I have some sunlight today, which is a big plus. I had some sunlight yesterday too, which is nice. Uh, I think if it was like heavy rain as well, it'd be, it'd be difficult. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just, I'm dying to go back to Thailand. Like, Mostly just because I don't have my life in order. I don't have like the condo, the apartment in order. And I've really fallen off with uh, YouTube viewership while here. So the longer I'm stuck here, the longer it takes me to get monetized, the longer it takes me to uh, have like a stable base, you know, which just makes things hard. I'm looking into doing like um, stuff on Upwork. Oh. <laughs> Just got hit by a leaf or something pretty hard. <laughs> I'm looking to do like a freelance work, you know, trying to get gigs online for writing or some like digital marketing stuff. I may have to, yeah, re enter like uh, trying to do some digital marketing type stuff for small businesses do some outreach and see what, you know, see what I can muster up. It's been a long time since I've dabbled in that. Mostly I just apply those things to my own uh, stuff nowadays with the tattoo stuff, you know, building the Instagram. Um, and I used to do it full time, uh, like freelance digital marketing for different types of businesses, you know, healthcare companies, nonprofits, like some local businesses, stuff like that. And I used to scoff at the amount of money that I could charge, you know. Like sometimes they would only be able to, to pay a thousand a month, fifteen hundred a month. I was always going for some big amounts because I was based in New York uh, or even like in Berlin was it's not like so cheap. And so now I mean, to have one client paying me 500 a month would be huge. So I might try and work towards some things like that. Just helping small businesses get clients, you know, grow their online presence, whatever they need. Maybe run some Facebook ads for them, some Google ads. Mm. But outside of that, I'm just going to yeah, try and get through these next few weeks and still have enough money to to fly and then book uh, something, you know. I can't keep booking like Airbnb. It's definitely, it's not viable anymore to live in Bangkok or anywhere in Thailand on Airbnb like month to month. Used to be pretty easy. You know, you could, you could do it for 300, 
between two and four hundred dollars you could get a good a nice rental but those days are definitely <laughs> over i found quite a few condos i could sign a lease on and pay you know 215 275 a month something like that very doable and you know you pay one month plus security deposit they always want two months uh, but you could usually haggle your way into just paying one month and security deposit and so kind of had everything set into motion to leave this week you know i set up a couple uh places to go look at condos with the realtors so i had to cancel all of that you know maybe i shouldn't have done it so soon but they had assured me initially that four weeks was the maximum and that it usually takes three weeks but with the holidays it could take four weeks now i mean it's out of their hands i guess i'm just i'm very concerned for multiple I'm just concerned that there's going to be more issues and I'm, I'm maybe not going to get the passport for some reason and I would have to fly back to the U.S. So I can't let that happen. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure how I would eat, how I would do that. You know, there'd be no way for me to, to buy that flight. So I don't even know what they do in a situation like that. If if I'm start overstaying my visa because I'm waiting for a new passport and I like run out of money or something. I don't even know what happens. I, I think I'm just liable for it and they expect me to be able to reach out to somebody who could help me, you know. But there is, you know, I, unfortunately I don't have any like family help in that way. Very little family in general, but definitely no family my family has less money than I do. And yeah, I don't, I don't have like any connections to, to help me at this point. So don't know. Maybe I need to come up with some brilliant video ideas and they need to take off so that I can get monetized more quickly. But it's, it's a very long, term thing to make money from YouTube you know there's there is no income that's going to be generated from YouTube in the next weeks or month or something like that it's just not it's not happening so I have been getting some bookings with the, the tattoos and so I'm making some 125 175 dollar you know payments that I'm getting here and there which are hugely helpful and necessary for sure. I just spend too much on food because I can't eat local food. I have all the food allergies. I have to eat all meat, mostly beef. And it's just so expensive here. I mean, I need to spend around 20 US dollars a day on food in Bali, which is unfortunate. <laughs> so that with the accommodations is really is what's eating my money and the motorbike rental. It's the only thing that I'm spending on at this moment. But I just watch it deplete. <laughs> so I need I need more income. Uh, in Thailand, my expenses are just so much less. It's like a quarter of the expenses or so. Now, right now, the accommodation is around $200 per week here. And so the thought of getting that for a month in Thailand is like... Uh, kills me but then the food uh, I mean I get beef there for less than half of the price here even pork if I am eating pork it's like it's less than half of the price in Thailand so and the quality is just so so much higher too so it's tough it's tough to be in a position where you're paying money like that for this food that doesn't is not fresh really not that good and like a small room you know not like my own place in a place that I want to be as well it's drained me of everything I have mentally I came over here and I was yeah you could tell from the start negative but that was because of my surroundings you know I was coming off of uh, a strong 
long time weed habit, which I've now, you know, it's been five weeks here, more than five weeks here. So it's, that's not the issue anymore. My sleep is, is completely fine now as well. Uh, it's tough. I don't know. And I still don't feel good physically every day. My, I say I've, had, I've had a lot of physical unwell feeling. Uh, since arriving here, I, you know, I guess that's just sort of a me thing with whatever's going on in my body, but I sort of have to just accept that. You know, I kind of have to just let that be and do what I can, like food-wise, to yeah, feel my best at least, right? The few times I've strayed even from like what I know I should do, like using a vape for a few days, no good, you know, not good. Could have contributed for sure. Uh, eating pork, I can't do it, I, I can't do it. Try to eat pork and chicken because it's cheaper, but my body is not accepting it. It doesn't feel right. Throws me off so quickly, so it's tough. I had some moments of fun here for sure, and some some nice days. I feel like in Uluwatu, I was in a much much better place. Uh, even after leaving Uluwatu, going to Mungu, five days there, I was feeling really good. It felt good the whole time. I feel like since coming to Sonora, I've, I've slowly or even quickly uh, gone downhill in my mental state. I realize now it's certainly not the place for me at all. I think I have a cap of a place like this for like three days before I'm just like, oh God, like what the hell do I do here? And you know, who are these people here? You know, all of my neighbors are like extremely unfriendly here as well. Like people don't even say hello back. And it's like the entire guest house. And the only other person I really talk to about that is like the Airbnb host, like Indonesian woman, very friendly. Also like hates the people that are in the guest house because they're just so rude. You know, I don't want to go after any specific uh, type of people. So I'm not even going to say it or mention it. I, you know, I'm not prejudiced against anyone specific. It's just like, doesn't matter where you're from if you if you're rude and you don't say hello back you don't greet somebody and you just kind of have a sour look on your face whatever reason that's for every day i mean then i you know it's annoying i didn't get that and even in changu it wasn't it wasn't like that at all you know the the people traveling there although they're younger it's like they were still like enthusiastic and friendly uh, yeah. I, truly, I, I think I almost can't upload this vlog <laughs> because of the type of comments I get when uploading anything in a negative tone, uh, either in Indonesia, about Indonesia, anything like that. I think because I'm white, because I'm American, you know, it's like instantly... I don't really, I'm not really super entitled to any negative opinions. Because I, I don't know, I'm perceived as being like a wealthy uh, whatever, or even if not, it's like, well, you should, you should be back in your own country type thing. You know, it's, it's, tr it's tricky. I don't know. There's a lot of closed mindedness, I think, uh, amongst people. You know, people are so used to seeing like only positive, whether fake or not, like positive content about every single area of Indonesia, you know, or other like Southeast Asian countries. It's like it's overwhelmingly positive because people want views, you know. So it's like I'm seen as, oh, this is, why is this guy being negative here? It's like, well, I don't know. I'm just being honest. Uh, you know, this is my current position at the moment. This is where I'm at, right? So maybe I shouldn't be making content then. I don't know. But 
hey, I still want to push forward and, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe that's why I'm not growing now. Maybe that's why I'm not gaining any subscribers anymore. But I don't have, I don't know what to vlog about. I can't go on like some adventures for the sake of, of vlogging, you know, if I don't have, if I don't have the money to do it. You know, I'm not going to put myself in a weird position in life to, I guess, to go to these certain areas, which are not usually that cheap. Uh, I don't know. I think people, like, maybe they're just more interested in, in the Thai content I was making, the Thailand content, or the areas, right? Or more content with, like, I don't know, you know, I was in a different headspace. I was also high on weed every day. And so I thought, oh, the content can only get better. I'm gonna get better at this. Uh, I'm gonna be better on camera. I'm gonna get better at editing. Like I'm gonna grow faster. It's gonna, it's only gonna get better. It's crazy that the first week, two weeks of the channel would be the best weeks for growth. Pretty universal that people don't grow in the beginning and they start getting reach after that. But mine was the opposite experience, so still it's only been one month. And okay, interesting. Yeah, it's only been one month. So I'm not sure. This is a nice place. Wow. That's such a nice place to stay. Look how green that is. I like that. Sorry, I had to get away from these people eavesdropping on, on my vlogging. <laughs> they were just like listening to what I was doing in such a weird way. I'm just gonna stand here while they walk away. Keep turning around and looking at me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. See, I still have moments of being cheery and like, I, I don't know what it is. I think I'm thinking too much about the the negatives and thinking too much about the yeah the, the being stuck here. I think I, I can't get it out of my mind. I, I I've had too much trouble accepting it and like just moving past it. I, I'm not able to. Maybe I will be able to again in a couple of days. I think I had uh, like thought. Oh, okay, there's only another week. It's only another two weeks and so there was a period where i was like quite happy and quite thrilled to just oh okay i can easily do this one or two weeks um and i think when i realized oh i'm not leaving actually I, I still can't leave for several more weeks and they seem very uncertain about how long to get the passport it became more difficult you know it's i don't know but I think I'll get over it in one, two, three days. You know, maybe I just need to change, change the environment too and get out of Sonora. Um, we'll see. We'll see. There are a lot more accommodations now uh, everywhere. So I have more options. Um, it's just that I want to go somewhere and stay for minimum one week. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, there's a minimum one week. Um, and that's it. That's, that's kind of why I stayed here longer and extended my stay multiple times, just to, I was near the US consulate, near the airport. So it made it very easy to, to like leave from here. I made it, it was like more difficult to actually go somewhere else, so. Uh, chance I upload this vlog. <laughs> Only. My other video idea was to do, you know, cost of living, what it cost me to live here for the past month. I think that's a much better <laughs> video idea. I think that's what I should upload. You know, I should turn the camera off and start recording that. But, whatever. Whatever. I have been walking more here, I've been getting more exercise. You know, I over New 
figures I ballooned up probably put on about uh, oh I did put on like 11 kilos in like five days or so that's how quickly I will get, gain weight and get bloated if I just like I was eating all that coconut yogurt and eating more pork just eating more and and vaping and I gained 11 kilos gained like 25 pounds in five days so crazy so I'm losing some of that blow it always you know my mental state always goes with the that as well uh, for, if I get extremely bloated and unwell I start getting like autoimmune issues and like my mental clarity and my mental state gets really bad so that's what happened so I have to recognize that and I should uh, yeah I should just keep that in mind <laughs> but I'm, I'm back on the all beef and you know, the past I'd say two days I haven't been able to vlog but my mental state has gotten better from today it doesn't seem like it <laughs> oh, it's, it's busy today I, I, I suppose it's because it's really sunny out and so now when it gets sunny people are like Let's get out there and enjoy the weather. This is busy. Very busy. Hello, no thanks. Jet ski would be pretty fun. I don't know what they cost for a rental. I do enjoy a jet ski ride. Um, it'd be kind of cool to strap the camera to the front of the jet ski. Kind of have to pray that it doesn't fling into the ocean. Uh, Actually, that's a bad idea. Forget that. <laughs> I do have to always remember if I lose my phone, you know, then I'm then I'm really in a dire state. If I lose my wallet, like, then that's when I I am allowed to be upset. But now I should not be. Just for being stuck here, you know, I think I will always figure something out in terms of money and getting by and getting where I need to, to go. And, you know, it's never not happened in the past. The hardest of times have had much, much, much harder struggles in my life than this. Exponentially harder. And I get through those, so, you know, I'll get past it. Hi, what's up? So I think having like a extreme lack of social interaction too and just being isolate, completely isolated, it's just not good for me either. Not having any friends here. I mean, I've at least not anymore where, where I'm staying now. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I will go back to Changu for the sake of having a cheap accommodation and a few friends around. You know, maybe that keeps me in a little bit, perks me up a little bit. I end up meeting a, a bit more people in general too. I, I'm not meeting anyone here. You know, in one week, I think yeah, the only social interaction I've had here would be a few like walk bys, you know, and like mm, the host, the Airbnb host. You know, but otherwise isolated very isolated diving would be really fun you know it's like the, the one reason i wanted to go to Nusa Penida was to to do some diving i've actually never done diving or snorkeling like that maybe i shouldn't worry about the fact that i can't vlog it and if i can do it cheap enough then i should do it since i'm in sonora already and you get there from sonora so The cheapest trip I could do is go to Nusa Penida, like going to Gili or to, especially to like further to like Lombok, even though Gili's are in Lombok, but getting to actual Lombok is like, it's more money. It looks so beautiful there though. And just like so much less touristic. This looks really nice to have, especially if I could take my motorbike there. I mean, or rent one there, you know? That would be incredible to just drive around Lombok. That's almost like what I need, is like some kind of feeling of freedom like that. 
uh, without a bunch of stuff, you know, with no place to put it. So I think I'm gonna ask the place that I'm staying now, even when I leave the place on Thursday, if I could store all my stuff there, then I can just come pick it up when I get back uh, or when it's time to leave. I can stop by, get all the stuff, and just take a taxi to the airport. So I think it will take a, a huge, just like such an enormous load of stress away. If I could easily hop on my bike with a backpack and move around day to day more so, uh, it would be much better. Hey, how are you? Money? No, no, sorry. I mean, sometimes people are just like, money, money. It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, he, he was missing uh, his hand, but I mean, we all have our problems, right? I guess I should be grateful that I have my, all my limbs, my extremities, something to be grateful for, right? It's a beautiful day out here. I think <laughs> just getting some sun and walking around, I've literally been cooped up in my room for Two days, two and three, almost three days. <laughs> I should start the restart the vlog now. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I'm gonna say this is like the end of the vlog. Maybe I will upload it. Maybe I won't. And I'm gonna make a new one about the cost. You know what I spend day to day and for a whole month here so far. Uh, mostly for people on a budget because that's kind of how I've been living, but not, not backpacker style, but still very budget. So, yeah, I hope you uh, took something from this, you know, or at, at least the people who want to follow my whole story and the whole journey. I think that this is mostly who that's for, you know, not, yeah, you know. At least you'll see me come out on the other end, so that's good. You know, soon enough, right? Okay, I'll see you in the next vlog.